So here we go. The project for the day is to carpet this box additive. Um, here's my boat. It's a Triton TS 18 Tournament Sport Aluminum boat. Uh, as you can see here, here's the front deck. Basically this boat came with that just being a part of the main floor. Um, so the owner before me built this little extra storage compartment which fits in there pretty nice. Um, so what I'm going to do today is basically get some carpet on it. So I picked this carpet up, a very close match, uh, indoor outdoor carpet from Home Depot. Uh, so sized it out, got what I think I need. That in combination with some indoor outdoor adhesive and we're going to be carpeting this box. So I'll take you through all the steps to do it and show you the the before and after finished product. All right, so we got the box the lid off. So now we're gonna just line up the carpet. We're not gonna have all this excess. We're gonna trim a little bit, but enough where we can wrap it around and wrap it under just so it's quiet when we close it. So we're gonna leave about maybe an inch and a half on every side. So if we line it up there with a corner, just so we know we're making a square cut. Bring the carpet over to the end. So we know roughly we want to cut it right in here. That'll give us enough to go around the edge. And then a little extra to work with. So bring it in just a little bit more. And we'll just follow this line down, making our cut. There we got our first piece. The carpet's relatively cheap. So now we'll just start adhering it. Actually, we'll make one more cut because this is way too much excess. So we want, well, you know what? I'll wrap it all the way around. That won't hurt. So all this adhesive quilt calls to do is basically Apply it, stick it, let it dry for up to 72 hours. So we got. It.
starting from the center, we're just kind of working out all the air pockets. Making sure you don't get that ripply effect in your carpet. So now let's flip it over carefully. There we have the first finished panel. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit, then I'm gonna do some more trimming. Now the glue's starting to set up here pretty good. It's a pretty good match. Looks nice and clean as it'll set up. I'll keep working these bubbles out. We'll start with the rest of it now. All right, so we took the box out. Here's what the boat looks like without a box. So here's the add box, it's just flipped on its side so we can work on this top surface first. We got our next piece cut. There's a good extra. So we're gonna wanna cut it again because we don't want very much overlap. We just want it to wrap the corner. All right, so here we go. We got one board underneath the top. It was relatively all screwed down. The glue is starting to dry. I'm starting the trimming process. Um, I'm gonna set it in side and then start trimming, I believe. Got it all vacuumed out. So, yeah, I think we're ready to, to get going and see if we can't set it in and let it dry in place so that way it'll it'll put friction on the fronts it'll put friction on the, the backs the friction on the top and bottom great song by the way boy do we have a mess once we get this done we should have it pretty clean with all this additional storage and she will look Nice, I hope. All right, here is the final product. Got the box back in. We had to make one additional trim cut right here just because of the added carpet. I uh, won't allow it to close flush. Um, works fully, still need to clean it up a little bit. As you can see, this board's a little warped, so maybe next project I'll use it for a little bit and then probably Consider replacing it. Works fully, got all the stuff stored in there. I can clean the edges up a bit more. The glue is holding. And you can see it's slightly different color. It'll start to fade a little bit in the sun. But that is the final product. So it's time to throw the boat back together. Thank you for watching. As always, comment below on what you thought. Uh, if you have tried anything like this and how it went for you, 
Uh, what did you guys do different? Uh, that'd be awesome to. It'd be awesome to hear what you guys uh, have done similar to this. Again, thanks for watching.